So, um... Took the intake out. Disconnected the shifter linkage. Took out all the harness. One, uh, two somewhere around there. Two right there. The other one is somewhere back there. Oh, right there. And then. That's the rack right there. You can see it any better. And that's it. That right there that I'm lighting up. You just loosen. And that bolt comes out all the way. And then. This is what it looks like. You just flip that to the side. Mm -hmm. and see, out, out of the way. Disconnect uh, the ground to the chassis from the from the transmission. Um, I may or may not have to remove the battery tray. I don't know yet. I think I only did was I scrapped the, the rack up to the coil to support it while well, it comes down and uh, remove the nut from here. It was a 36 millimeter and I punched it out. Now we just need to remove one more thing, a few things in there with the rack, one more thing with the rack. And we'll start taking the transmission mounts out and set frame. Helps if you have a lift, but here's the over the other bracket for the rack. There's this one and there's one on the other side, another bolt on the other side. Here's the rack, uh, there's a bracket, hold it up to the subframe. Take that one loose, take that one out. And then you can have another one on this side. Take those completely out so that your rack can stay up. See, here's a better angle of the top one. Hold that to the frame, subframe, so you're good. And then you're gonna loosen one, two, this is on the back of the engine. So, and this one, and this one, that one's with the motor mount. Yeah, we got a little bit of leak, take care of that soon enough. Here's the other one, and then you have these here. There, where is it? Right there. Which you have to take loose. <laughs> take a loose. Take loosen. Remove. Uh, here goes the other side. And then we're gonna take and that's the lower control arm. Take these three out. And the transmission bolts. <laughs> you can see a little bit of the clutch. Deal with that, and that's it. Support the engine and remove that motor mount, and we're good. Easy peasy. Might need to replace the motor mounts, but one thing at a time. Get the slave cylinder before you start taking everything up. Uh, it's just two 10 millimeter bolts. Pull them out, put it to the side so you can reach. The other mount, that'll be a trans mount. Right, so, took off the top bolts for the transmission. There's somewhere back there. 
No, there you go. You can see one right there. It's one of the ones just on the other side. 17 million. Um, right underneath where the heater hose goes. Um, so we're done up here. So what we're gonna do is uh, lift the car up and remove this front mount and then the back mount that I showed you earlier or later. I don't know when I'm gonna put it on the video. But uh, this motor mount or transmission mount and this one will hold the engine in place while that little subframe down there comes out. Once it's out, we're going to just hold the, the engine in place with a, the trans jack and that's it. It'll be out. Or something like that. No, nope, actually, we're gonna do a crossbar to support the engine up. And then we will take this out and all that. Something like that. I'll let you know. So we're holding on the transmission in the back with the the chain holding it up to the that's the point so I mean designed to hold it up so we're gonna support the transmission there yeah we really need to um, fix this back here but we're gonna take take the lower control arm out then we'll be able to pull out the axles easy peasy just takes a long time when you're by yourself Sometimes you have a little space, you use a little baby with, a, with an adapter. Easy does it. Easy peasy. Cradles out. Only thing holding an engine and transmission up is that mount and that mount. So we have this full thing here to hold up the transmission when we remove this thing there. Once we remove that mount, we'll have the support in the transmission. Replace that mount. Um, lifts up the car. Support the engine, remove this chain, and unbolt the transmission, and uh, out it comes. Easy peasy. And this nut consists of this nut, that nut, and where that socket is, there is another nut. That's it, be back in a few. I left these to the end because it was hard to get them with the cradle in there. But um, this is my makeshift pry bar. There you go. Snap. And then just loosen up that bolt for the little shield and it just slide right out. Sit. All right, so we took the starter bolt. This one goes through the starter into the transmission. So then we have another bolt here. And I'll oh, don't forget the cover. We're gonna replace the flywheel too. Cause uh, no bueno. And um, we don't have to take that off. I just wanted to see. This one's out, that one's out. We got another 17 there, and the two that are up on top. Transmission strapped up, kind of funky, but it's it'll work. And then we gotta take off, I took off this one, 
And there's another one under the side. Where is it? Oh, well, that one. And then this one and that one. They're loose, except for this one. And they're loose. This is except for this one. And then that'll be it. Easy peasy. These are the pins that line it up. So you have to line those up before you can get going. There's one on each side. This one is right there. So I just use a screwdriver and um, hold it up. Uh, transmission is sitting on the jack now. And just being supported by this jack and that's all it is that's all there is to it take some time but slow and steady wins the race so, so um, yeah this is what it looked like yeah the all bearing is a little bent out of shape it kind of it needs these things in there so it can spin a bit all right, so it did a little bit of damage. Um, to break these loose, I stick a screwdriver through the flywheel, and then so the screws have to turn counterclockwise. So I hold the screwdriver, push force clockwise, bingo bango, break it loose, and then. Go at it with a electric ratchet. Just break them loose. See that? But sometimes I use a bigger one because if this is the same size of if this is the same size of uh, as the ring. You could push it too far. All you want it to do is just be too much. So that's why I use this bad one. And then I use this nice hammer here. That's not big enough, but we're going to use it anyway. So you just tap it. Now you're going to hear like a, 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 a different tone whenever it's all the way in. A different tone? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so. You hear how it sounds solid? Well, now it's flush. So, there it is. You see how it didn't want to go in? So I had to readjust the flywheel so that it would it would uh the, the screw thing go out. You see that now? See? That's why you only hand tighten them and you just let all the way. You don't really have to do them in a star pattern now because all you're doing is getting them close to the flywheel. More bolts, more bolts. Um, and if it doesn't want to go in easy with your with your with your hands, just take it, and it'll it'll align itself because the bolt's trying to push in. So. But when you tighten it, you have to do it in the start. Yeah. Whenever you start, you see the last one. So what's the torque spec for this? 76. 76. So I like to go half and then half. Well, and then the other half.
So, a great rule to do to use on these torque wrenches is to zero them out whenever you're done using them. I what forgot. do you mean when you zero out a torque wrench? You put it to zero torque specs. Dun dun dun. So now you know. The more you know. Wasn't that reading rainbow stuff? I think so. So our torque specs are 76. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna torque it in a star pattern. Flywheel guys. This is the El Flywheel O and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to to torque them down to 30 foot pounds and then go do the whole rotation and then do the 70, 76 foot pounds at the end so that it can be nice and flat. So you're gonna do a two two round rotation, huh? Uh -huh. So 30 foot pounds. It looks like close enough. So make sure it's on the on. So one cool trick is uh, where's the screwdriver? Work. Yeah. That looks like an extension to yeah. me, sir. That's <laughs> cue, cue the this work. So this is just to make the wheel not turn when we're trying to to torque it. So since it's so you see? Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna No. Uh well yeah, but that's not what I needed. What I needed was to make sure that these were nice and all the way as far as we can go. So now we're going to just, we're not going to get them to, uh, to click to click just yet. We're just going to get them to tighten up, to get snug, really snug. Bottom up? Yeah. Bottom up. What's the difference between bottoming out and snugging up? I think that's the same. It's pretty close. What do you think, Leo, the camera guy? What do you think, Leo? <laughs> it's the same. It's the same? Yeah. Yeah, so they're all done. So that's that's the first round. Went around to start pattern. And then I'm gonna go and do it at 20, 22 and a half. Because you can do it between 19 and 25, and you're good. So I'm gonna do it at 
I forgot what that's called. Throw up bearings there. Clutch plate, clutch, centered. Beautiful. Everything torqued down. Ready to mate. You have to line these up. This thingy, and that's it. So, transmission, Jacko. Make sure it's locked. And then pump action with El Foto. So who's gonna do the foot action? Yes. We just have to make it all the way up there. That's a good three feet. We have to make sure this thing has enough room to slide over and inside. So now we're going to lower the engine just a bit. Give it the cool angle that it needs. You like that accent? Light. So I lined it and then I put these bolts in there so that we can snug it up. And then on this side, we did the same. We, we used two on this side mm -hmm. and then the, we were able to make the, the transmission to the, to the engine. So now that's done. Now we just gotta put the rest of the I take the bolts out and then I lay them on the sheet of paper. So the one I took off from the starter was here. I don't know what this is for. Oh, this is a driver trans mount. And this is something else, but they're all labeled. Like this is for the, tran the transmission belt bolts, nice. belt housing. So everything is, is labeled. So we went ahead and supported this with the chain to the crossbar and the mount. Both sides. You gotta take it, alright. Yeah.